Ish, my name, it was that time where I was going through like the most, you know. Um, my name always being on the internet for like the wrong reasons and stuff. So Ushava was like that one group man that was always there for me, you know. Ushava would call me like a well motivated, you know, Tana, these things happen, you know. Ziyadlula should he he would actually send me like isn't like isn't you know that he felt like um like that would motivate me somehow so he was just there for me you know. DJ School Live presents. Brothers and sisters all over the world, welcome to DJ School, straight out of Johannesburg in South Africa. Thank you very much, guys, for coming. And once again, when you see the studio, you do know that I'm dealing with creatives. And I'm excited today because I am sitting with a man who's got a brand new album. We've been waiting and waiting for a new album. But finally, the album is here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. South African songwriter, South African vocalist, South African musician, Mlindo, the vocalist. Yeah! Thank you, my love. 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 Thank Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shout out to my Bonga Mina, my room. It's been a long time coming, so it feels good to be back. Eh? Yeah, l let's start this way. Um, oh. I Alpa Mlako, it's, uh, I mean, it has lasted you for three years now, no? Four. Four? Yeah, it's been four years. Yo, yeah. it's getting some manje. Yeah. Is it still possible? Look at you want to tour for four years in Alpa Mili One? Alpa Mili One. Like, I'm from Kamamanga. Like, Nakhtina Malumin came as a surprise. We're not actually expecting this, you know. So, NGR, uh, thank you very much to everyone that has been buying the music. Yeah. I think let's start with, with the album when it first came out and the experience and the journey, mm -hmm. what you've learned from the first album in those experiences. And I say came in because I'm sure it also gave an opportunity to grow and, and learn and understand the industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first album, Begui Emakaya, uh, it put me late August, August 2018. Um, it has changed my life, like, yo, yo dramatically, my room. Like, you would understand from, like, someone who just dropped out of school and then, you know, I wasn't actually expecting anything, like, yeah, well, and then, like, um, after the album, you know, like, my life changed, yeah, well, I've been able to do, like, a lot of things for the family, you know, um, I bought the house for my mom. Um, I moved them from Ekasi to Wenda when it's on Bangunyana. Um, the kids, Seba, Funda, Mamalti, Rachel School. You know, I've been doing a lot. And then um, meeting, um, like, Amanyama celebrities, like the groupmans that I've actually always wanted to work with, you know, like, you like Sofobo, Ishmael's, and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it has changed, like, a lot, my room. Like, a lot has changed for me. Yeah. And how did that, um, your first break come? Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to assume as if I want to be a baguette yeah. because nah, nah. you never know every, every mm. time you do an interview there's always a new ear yeah, yeah, that yeah. gets to hear your story yeah um so it started in uh in like the break it was 2017 um December um so big no big so performer Usan El I think yeah Usan El was a performer at a club and I said market um so I asked to do like an opening for him um, so at the time we did Ikava ye Aganamali. So I performed that song like Ikava ya Kona um, before he set. And then like um, I saw him like taking videos and then that's why I knew it's okay. We're getting somewhere, you know. Um, the next thing I met up with him, he asked me to come to Joburg. Um, I came to Joburg with him. We recorded uh, the song Ibam Tatile. Then after that I went home, um, continued like making covers, you know. Um, then me and my brother's fee, so we were chilling. We we caravel at time and like at the back room, yeah. Um, we just decided to play around Nalingomale. There was this song um, by DJ Mapuris and Obusi, so in Midnight Staring. Um, so yeah, we did a cover of that song, and then that's when like DJ Mapuris like reached out to me, you know. I would see, I see like you've been doing these covers. Like, can you actually make your own music, yeah? Bro? And then I was like, yeah, I've been actually like writing my own songs like for a while now. So I sent him like three, like basically got the studio's better, okay? So like, yeah, well, the sound was not like, but yeah, he got the idea. Um, I sent him like three songs and then he loved he, in my place. And then it was on a Thursday when he asked me to like, um, like, on Thursday. 
um six tambama le ni pas la figa e a park station about six x any um I met up with him then we went straight to studio we made him a place um um it was him howard and myself um i think we started around eight making the song and then around ten we were done and then um he asked to actually like shoot like a short clip um and then he posted it on social media because I already had like a gang issue I was famous but I had a name like I'm being famous on Facebook yeah, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. I think mean, it should be on Facebook yeah. so yeah, yeah he posted that video like um, you know everyone else was very excited people wanted the song to like drop immediately and then yeah the song came out and then yeah that's that's how that's how I came out yeah. so you, this is all your career happening and er, and everything getting kick started through social media yeah 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 um yeah career i mean i guess you're on social media yeah that is so beautiful and yeah. then this album comes out you start going on the road mm. i've also had the pleasure to um go on some shows with you travel with yeah, you yeah, and you've yeah. grown i think the even your stage presence mm. your stage presence has grown and just how you do things has become better mm. but what are some of the challenges that you say which is so for the like industry and you're you're starting to do things better because uh, we all make mistakes yeah. when we're still young and still new you know um ngathi like this thing of like listening to everyone you know when you are young in and you just came in the industry you know everyone will tell you like ah tana you must do this not do that like listen yeah but just listening to people actually for me it will be like that thing like nga shooting costile um no papa ke kukodwa nje you know just wanting to do things like nezintonga zazi like you always want to be there like yeah but um yeah nje like hanging around with like the wrong type of people or that so um yeah i'd say that man so, and i think it's also good with the ends that i didn't with like we yeah we experience because like when someone actually tells you you see ngathini like sometimes for into nengqala like i'd say like someone that is actually like my age or younger than me when you tell them things like that like eshibanzi mo we call them and like sometimes we just want to experience things because when you tell someone don't do this because it's got to feel like it's like young valela or you controlling them yeah so yeah and then um there was a moment when i was let me let me not say i was not happy mm-hmm. but i was cringing when i was seeing mm-hmm. you guys on um make g podcast yeah yourself um howard your management um mm. Nico. Mi, mi mi. no 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 sang show in management oh, 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 okay. when sang <laughs> 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 yeah yeah oh. and i did not like some of the things that i've heard yeah. you know have you guys yeah. resolved some of those some of those issues uh um, yeah the boys are actually trying to talk like till now like um but they've been calling each other you know trying to set up a meeting and stuff because like um i mean i believe it was actually like a huge misunderstanding or something like if the boys can actually just sit you know i don't know that's how i feel if they can sit and just sort out their differences because I, sh- i don't believe in this beef thing like these days you know like working together you know like if we would kind of last get in a corner like I feel like if we can just sit down and talk about it like he yeah, resolve it man like there's no problem and believe I'll tie in a solution you know? I like that I like that mindset now nah, boy yeah. as me yeah. I always focus on positives selling it to me I love collaborating as opposed to competing yeah 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 na sebenzi sana we can actually achieve more than na stabana you know? yeah yeah when we actually in competition cuz like now these energies and then sega valelo ana you know all that but if we actually work together you know like ah, it's music it's music man yeah so. and ultimately we necessarily shabantu mtulo mnandi yeah cuz go se tlabana yeah no we can't take this song cuz this song is who and who you know like ah no it's not the that's not the right energy man all right now let's talk about the brand new project which label is it coming out under Um it, I'm still under Sony. Okay, nice. Um, nice. I'm still under Sony. So yeah, it put me under each on venture leg, I'm a producer and Sony. So it's Black Boy and Sony. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's under them, still under Sony. Um it's a nine track album um with a lot of features. A lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm feature really cool. I've heard issue I've heard oh. the track with Us Java. Yeah. I've heard e Ichumaima with um, um Ishmael. Ishmael. Yeah. I think I've also heard another fourth song I forgot to mm. EP. But let's talk about the features. Um the features like um it's something that my mama always wanted to do, you know. I didn't have much time with the Emakaya cuz Emakaya came in and then like numbing some musha go industry, you know. I didn't have like the right connects which if you wanna actually work with Ishmael, who do I go to, you know? 
So it's people that I've been wanting to work with, you know, for the longest time. So um, when lockdown happened and then like there was no like movement, you know, like no entertainment, like uh, like this valley, I went back home, a case it in. Um, so I was working at my mom's garage, um, the project, let's see, record the coin, like a garage. So um, I've been like contacting these people, like I'm telling Fisuk Spananabo, like your Amifak, um, Tunzi, um, Ishma, you know. So I started gathering like I'm a contact swab while I was home. So as soon as the country was opened, like I linked up with them and then we were just doing music. That was all, like, yeah. So like about Amifak, I had to invite them to studio, you know, like Siswami, I have like a song like this. Um, I don't know if I can actually explain the thing. Would see like uh, with the army, I was going through that thing. You know, in my room, you feel like um, I don't know, like you're being boxed in, like you feel like you're controlled and stuff. Like you have to do this at this time. Like I felt like I'm not living my own life now because I have to do all these things and not that. So that's how we came out with the Lord. Would see like you know when you're having that feeling of which you trap like your life is being controlled and what not. <coughs> so you just feel like even a winny lords or I don't know like I think I'll do things better like in my own way. So that's when we come up with that song which Ami like how do you feel and Ami was like oh it's kind of crazy because like I also feel like that sometimes you know. So we put it in a song. Um, yeah. and, and I like the fact that Ami is also. I think in the same journey as you. Yeah, She's also yeah. n not that old in the industry. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. sure you guys are related. Yeah, yeah. Because it was a thing like that. Like we started the song as a conversation, you know. This is how I feel. And she was like, wow. Because now I also feel something like this. So let's just make a song about it. Because we had like beats and stuff and she didn't want that type of vibe. She wanted us to create something from scratch. And then, yeah, that's how we came up with the song. Shwelele? Shwelele, um, I did that song with Howard. Um, Zotin, um, it's a song like my room because it had that unity type of vibe. Like, I think yeah. it was Bujo Mujo back in the days. Yeah, so we just wanted to revive yeah. that sound because for me it has that thing here yeah, you need to like it's like it's it's easy to sing along, you know. So and also just to pay like the respect to like the late group man, you know, because like it's a song that I was always bumping when I was young. Like Mang Toli chants in Jogja Li High Five, like I would make sure that I high five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was bumping the high. I was bumping the high. And then Kumbuli high five. Yeah, the two on the side yeah yeah uh, so mm, yeah and then um, i told howard we'd see like this is a, a melody that i'm thinking of and yeah yeah we just played around with it and um yeah i'm happy you're mentioning howard so yeah. um how how deeper is is howard involved on this project um howard made uh i think 30 to 40 percent of the, the project, because um, I've been working with Uhawa, like from Emaka, you know? Sure. So I didn't want to change like the sound like that much. So I wanted to actually do something that I'm comfortable in, you know? So that's one reason I had to work with him, because he was actually part of Emaka, you know? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. I, heard, I forgot the name of it. I heard the one you did with Usjava. I um, think that's going to be a big song. Let's talk Luce about Lute, that. Lute, ne? Yeah, Luce Lute, ne? Luce Lute, yeah. Luce Lute. Luce Lute. How did that happen? Um, with that one, it was that time where I was going through like the most, you know, um, my name always being on the internet for like the wrong reasons and stuff. So Ushava was like that one group man that was always there for me, you know, Ushava would call me like I want motivate you know, Tana, these things happen, you know. Ziyadlula, he, he would actually send me, like, Izungo Mazake, like, Izungo Ropumi, you know, that he felt like, um, like, they would motivate me somehow, so, he was just there for me, you know, um, Zhuang Yisho, like, he would send me, like, yo, yo, being on my playlist, like, my room, like, Izungo Mazake, because he just felt like I was actually in a hole that I, like, needed someone to actually lift me up, so, um, it was just, uh, and then he told me, which he, after the country was open, which he, like, he's been wanting, like, <laughs> but you guys did well the last time, why yeah. No, but man, you know the thing when you're like, yo, I'm a man, like, you know, like, 
now it's gonna be asking which door now what, what are you doing you know all that like eh, now nah, so, some motivation <laughs> all the same way sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Sometimes you like, oh, no. It's like, I'm going to do my job now. It's like, you know, for, for, for me, it's always that thing, you know, like, if I read, like, drawing a chronic book, right? Yeah. So for you, it will feel like, but it's actually that thing, you know, it's, like, this guy to me is someone like, Ulapan and, I'm not worth being in his presence, like daughter. Like I'm not clear now. Like I feel like it sounds like I flow up. Okay, man. Like I won't. Yes, I beg. I'm a little bit. But it comes from a respectful mm, place. Yeah. yeah. Like, so talking. yeah. And then Mustafa was like the song. Yeah, we see. Like it feels like um me and I'm born and it's like all these things that are happening. Like I feel like it's the end of my career. I no know. I'm like. I feel like Lusa Lute, like humble like, like yeah, well, you still need to like do more. So bring your A game face and then let's do it. So um yeah, and then Afghan Huki and Lini like Lusa Lute or Humble Ami. Um kind of, meaning your journey still. Yeah, long, yeah, yeah, you still have like a long way to go. So yeah, he's the one that came with the idea of the song and then he said, I know. With the verses, I'm gonna let you do the thing that you did with the air quality. So I mean as long as I set you with the hook, I know you'll fly. So yeah, he did that and then um I did the two verses um on my own because like numbing sabu pala bum work, you know, like uh sabu man no 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 i get exactly what you're saying because i remember i know those are those moments you know how to my shy, I must say, shy, as the and like as in my room, it's in Rico, Texas. <laughs> yeah, it's in Rico, Texas. I mean. So, yeah, it was something like that, my room. Like, shout out to Java one time. Like, and yeah. then there's this dope song. And mm. I always say, I, 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 I. You know, sometimes mm, we, mm, we look at collaborations and we're yeah. like, this one performed better than this one. Mm. Like, album rap about yeah. uh, from my generation, uh, there was a track called Renegade. Yeah, Jay Z, no, no Eminem. Mm. And uh, Nas mm. even rapped on a track and said, um, Eminem mm. killed you in your own tra- on your own track. So, all the time, a lot of the times, people like comparing oh, artists on the song. Mm. So, me now, I feel oh, Ishmael killed you on yeah, your own track. I murdered, <laughs> I, do my me. I murdered me. Like, <laughs> I showed me there. Showed me like that. You are youngin. So, I, yeah, just give him his flowers, my little Like, he did the things, you know. Like, what a dope song, bro. I know, no. Shout out to you. And it's a mature Ishmael. song for a young man like you. Man, I tried, my little I tried, but. So, but yeah, like it was Ishmael, like jobbing in show, like I've always wanted to work with Umaru, me, like, yo, yo, like he still got it, like he has it, he has me, it like, bro. yo, he's a legend, that guy. Um, there was this time I saw him performing, I think it was the thing, like, my announcer, like, come on, nominations, I'm a Sam. Um, that he prepared to what? Oh, yeah, I love yeah, like, yeah. 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 yeah, so he was performing there, he, what was that song? Ivarvas Ye. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. he killed it. Like same voice, same everything. I was like, no, it's, I need to get this guy in the studio. So yeah, yeah, yeah. called him. He was happy. Like says it says one like too much now. Like I always make sure like if I have like shows and then like I go busy, I always make sure that I call him. Like he's such a vibe. Like shout out to him. Yeah. No, and big up for giving a man their flowers while they still smell them. You know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also featuring him and giving oh. him the props that he deserves. Yeah. And because he yeah. did shine on that song, it's a beautiful song. I did the things, my man. I did the things. Yeah. And the rest of the album. Um, the rest of the album, um, uh, there's this other song that I did. I think it's like two songs that I featured. There's this kid that is coming, Kamalako Masiano. Um, he's from like the same class as me back in Puchepstein. Okay. So, yeah, too much. I a local search, what, what, like local talent, what, what, like we were competing like with him. Like I always knew with Makonain. From when you were still coming up. Mm, mm, mm. Also, you've gone, you've gone back home to come yeah, and feature yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. also give him a bit of a break. Because yeah, yeah. it might change his life, that mm, feature, you know? Because mm. like, yeah, yeah, like Zhuang Yin he used to give me like, yo, yo, hard times whenever we're doing like competitions like back home. So, 
She thought like, um, come on, why not share? Like, let's share this thing. Like, I'm already here. Like, putting him some like like next to me. Now I also was to my second Meram Nandi. Now it keeps on bringing like other people because I believe like there's too much talent in the streets and nothing is being done. Like you know, to help. So yeah, yeah. I worked with him and like I think on two songs where he sings and then he's also a producer. So he uh, he also produced like a lot of songs in this album. What's the name? Marciano. Marciano, yes. yes okay, yes, Marciano. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, Marciano. remember the name. Marciano. Mm -hmm. Go search for him. Marciano. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, 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 but he's up next. Yeah, yeah, he's the next big thing. I'm telling you, like, he's good. He's good. He's good. Okay, if I haven't heard this album, how would you explain it to me? What should I expect? Uh, the album is uh, not that different from me, Emma Kaya. It's still like music, low Kaya, like, you know, like mm, songs with a message, man. Because for me, like, it's the easiest thing to do. Like, um, I just speak up on my problems, like what actually other people are going through. Like, you know, it's not, it's not always like um, happy songs and stuff. I always try and just go the deeper way, like to motivate, you know, like what come on to, like there are like people that are going through stuff, you know, and then like, I feel like with the music, we're actually doing our part, we're helping, cause you know, like it's songs that would motivate you if you're feeling down or you're feeling like giving up, you know, gee, like there's been like so much happening, you know, like people taking their own lives and stuff. So it's, uh, I had to talk about that in like in the song. So the feel is not that different from Yemakaya. It's just songs like Ezakayo and then those features like Nabo. I had to do like that thing. You could see if I feel like the song and then my Lumos Java would actually help with the emphasis on what I'm trying to say. I, I, I wasn't stingy on that, on offering like that chance. So it was just this army, you know, everyone that actually can do that thing, the musical archive. So it's, it's an album like that, um, in a nine songs and it's very, very like, as it diverse, but it's still the same message le I'm Lindo from Yemakai. So yeah. Name of the album? Ikamalayo i Lindo Gushe, my lume. Why? Um, it comes after, like, you know, uh, I've been silent for like, what, four years? Um, and then, I couldn't even post like a picture on Instagram, you know, because one game, I would comment, everyone is like, Alpam, Alpam, you know? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell me. Yo, yo, it was like, it got to a point where like, it was even depressing for me, you know? So, yeah, um, because it's like, it's what people have been waiting for, like, Linda, you know, like, Local good like a local delivers the album so and Giza Keleo and I like my mom's garage and Ikulumang Itoriza me mostly like what I've been going through like this past four years, you know. It's my story, so yeah, Lindo. I like that. So you've been honest on the mic, you've been sharing what you've been going through, yeah, and you've grown. What are some of the things that you'd say in Jabal Alpa Lukula as you are growing in the industry and going back on the road? Some of the things that you do differently. Um, for now, it's, um, like, I'm trying to do, like, more theatre shows, okay. um, because I'm trying to, like, have that, um, you know, that intimate, um, vibe with, like, the crowd, like, I want to talk to them, like, I want to sing songs, like, like, also, like, we have that vibe, like, slightly pansy, you know, and just do, like, more live now, you know, not, like, backtracking and stuff, so, yeah, I just want to connect to the people, like, I feel like I've been away for, like, a very long time, so yeah, I, I'd really love to just sit with people and just sing to them, you know, and talk to them and actually like get to know what they think and like yeah, and all that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And how has fame been treating you? Uh fame has been good, like sixty percent, and then bad, or you know, forty percent, you know. Um, it got to a point where I felt like I was losing myself, you know. Um, there was too many pressures, you know, friends, family, you know, uh, excuse. so yeah, it's, it's just that, my room, like, it hasn't been like, um, it hasn't been smooth, easy, yeah, yeah, it hasn't been easy, especially yeah. when you're still new in it, you yeah. know, I mean, I've been in it for, for many years, but hey, yeah, yeah. I always watch you guys and I always mm. worry, but I'm, mm. I'm glad on how you've been able to handle yourself and I'm yeah. very proud of you for, for buying a home for my old lady, yeah. I'll forever be proud of you for that and uh, I think, a lot of artists have to use you as an example. Good now, Sangene came in, Menukale, Makoko, or retire, or Kalanga Basin, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's where the blessings come from. I don't know. So, yeah, um, this early this year, we had to, we bought another one. Um, oh, you bought another uh, one? Uh, uh, another this man one. is investing, you understand? This uh, man is investing. Keep, keep propart. Keep propart. Keep propart. Keep uh, yeah. I'm proud of you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're moving. So you're moving, pro- you're two, you two title deeds deep now. Inside. 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 But in the second half, you're going house. for three, three properties yeah. deep. Ah, we have to, my room. We have to. Like you said, my room, one time, like, um, God is not creating any more land. Like, the land is the one that we have now, so we need to get it. Wow, so, I'm so proud yeah. of you. So you listened. I did. I heard you. I heard ah, you listened, yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 Joe, yeah. fair to Mlindo yeah. is two title deeds deep. Exactly. And he has already bought his mom a house. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter whether you're a millionaire. If you've never bought your parents a home, I don't want to say you should be feeling ashamed. You should mm. be inspired by this young man sitting in front of me. Oh. He sorted them out at home. He's now going for more investments. And let's talk about that, the money. Oh. How does one maximize their money? And I know you don't have all the answers. You're still young yeah. and you're still new. Yeah. But I like the fact that you're oh. moving right. You're in this yeah. property thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so for me, it was that thing. When I'm a little Mugutsi, like, you know, just listening, you know, like, good phone, you know, cooler, you know. Um, so my mom was not happy with that thing, you see, like, uh, like he might be like me, you know, like yeah, well, all the time. So she just wanted to do like something like a business where she can handle it. So like we're still working on like creating a bakery, you know, for her. And then in the meantime, I had to buy like a cab, like um, big knowledge, this my cab, like a car, because in Pochapstein we don't have the Ubers yet. Sure. So we have cabs, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Early this year, after the house, we had to buy like a cab for her, and she's managing that now. So yeah, I got such a hobby like I got four hundred and thirty thousand for what I had like yeah, 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 she's just getting it from that taxi now. So yeah. So you've okay. empowered your mom, and how do how does your future look like? What are some of the things that you want to do for Umlindo Manje mm, mm. when you as you keep on growing and as you keep earning? Yeah. Because you know you can never you're never gonna be famous forever. Yeah. If yeah. You, let let me put it this way, we'll probably yeah. will be famous until we pass on. But yeah. you're never gonna be at your prime forever. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson when he passed on, he wasn't at his prime anymore. Yes. Uh, ooh, 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 Prince is the same thing. Ooh, mm. ooh, mama, mama, mm. Everybody has got that window period where yeah. you're at your prime. Mm. But then from then on, you must maintain your career. Yeah. And and we never know what the future holds. That's why I yeah. like the fact that you're already mm. on property. Because mm. that's going to look after you for the rest of your life. And yeah. it's going to keep on appreciating in value. But what are some mm. of the things that you say? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Besides, like, a nice life, like, I really, um, like, wish, like, my own wish. Like, um, like, without waking up, you know. Um, like, I don't need to be on the mic or, like, be on the road for me to have money. Like, that's what I'm actually working on right now. Um, then, beside the being international and working with, like, your banner boys and stuff, but actually, the, the thing that I'm actually working on right now is that thing, you see. I don't want to have that thing, you see, for me to actually earn something, I need to be on stage. Like, I'm just working on that right now. Nice. Yeah. And then, umplindo ya kolel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kulele and Kulele Namanazaret. Um, so yeah, yeah, I still believe that. And Namajo Zige, like, yeah, yeah, that's that's me. And then, who are your inspirations? Inspirations, like, how, my love? Uh, musically. Yeah. Musically, yo, yo, me, Gile, artist, la malume, Tom, we see la le la, young kid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I see Tom. That's everywhere. actually smart to find a young man. I listen to everyone. Me, young kid, from like, deep house to yeah, commercial yeah, house, yeah, yeah. from hip hop to R and B. Abang, I'm not into saying la le li deep house. Let the go on, okay? Hey, yeah. this is kids, but in chronicles of deep house. Chron- yeah, chronicles deep. Yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know, like, I was sleeping on Deep House, like, hey, they, they moving, they move. Did you hear Drake's latest album? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He surprised us all, and he dropped something with coffee, he dropped, like, a Deep House album. Imagine, and no one was expecting that. Exactly. And no one was expecting that. Look, like, big shout out to Milo who, who play coffee, is doing the things, you know, like, putting us there on the map, so... So we, we are behind you, madam. We are behind you. That's what we're trying to do here. Yeah. I remember at some point there was an opportunity for you to sort of explore on my piano. Mm. Um, what are some of the other sounds that you'd still like to explore apart from this current Lindo Gushi yeah. album? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, the piano wave, like, yeah, yeah. Um, people are still going to hear me on, on it, but with features. And then there's this other African sound. Like, we met this other guy from Malawi. His name is Henwood. He's doing like the type of sound, like you know, the, the music that you play for, like, um, what, what is this sound? Nazi Abama World Cup, so. 
Yeah. Mm, that yeah. Type, type of vibe. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I heard his sound and I was very, like, in love with it. So, yeah, yeah. I'm already working with him. So, yeah, yeah. We're just trying to cross, like, to Africa and then, yeah, obviously with the Afrobeats because I actually want to feature, like, those Nigerian guys, like, more. Yeah, yeah. They're killing it. And those guys are hustlers, bro. They're moving, those guys. They're moving. Like, and those guys, they move international, bro. They don't just sit back at home mm. and just focus on their Nigerian market. They're here yeah, in Zanti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basi Tanzania, Basi States, Basi Landani. Yes, filling up domes, go UK. You know what I mean, bro? moving with this piano now. Like, yo, yo. And I got my start here, I hold. I have my As much as I push, I'm going to because I'm a hustler, I'm a band. You understand who's the first feature, the piano, like, you know, Chris Brown. This is a song, it's a Nigerian song. Oh, yes, yes, it yes, has yes, Chris yes, Brown. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. like we're the one who's supposed to do that first, yes. but hey, they move. These guys are moving, they and move. I hope they inspire you to mm, move also. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, I know. The last time I had a chat with you, I told about you um, mm. having to familiarize yourself with um, crypto and music. Have you yeah, done any homework, yeah. Nyana? For now, like... NFTs um, and yeah, how music and blockchain? I've been trying, my little to do that, but just for now, I just wanted to actually have like something like a budget, you know? Okay. Like something to start with. But I've been looking at cryptos, you know, like all those monkeys and stuff, like everyone is doing it now. So I want to be inside there, like, yeah. That's what I'm working on, just getting a budget and then getting it started, yeah. No, that's dope. I'm very happy. And oh. this is an interview for this album. Yeah. And let's wrap it up. We're going to do oh, another yeah. um, interview. Let me say we'll do this one. Uh, we'll do another one, I think, maybe by Sama. I know. Yeah. So we'll probably yeah. do another one in about five or six months. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Because I always yeah. have to keep up with you. Ah, <laughs> I'm here. 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 Yeah, yeah, so everything is moving like in the right way now, you know, and with this album growing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful. For nice you. one. So you're on the road. You're doing the PR now. You're promoting yeah. the album. September is here. Yeah. So go September, man. Actually, mm. summer is here. October, yeah. November, December. Mm. Um, any plans? Are you going on tour? Are you going on the mm. road? We're gonna be on the road, my little, um, with this idea, the, the theater one. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna do like an activation, like yeah, yo, um, as on six. Because uh, I actually wanted to do, um, e, what is this, Carnival City. Okay. And then uh, Rutman's Java like, took it. Like, he did it. Like, also, in the first, first show yak, um, okay. in Carnival City. But so, I know like, Java is mm, family. So yeah, yeah. And he, and he, and he, and he, so, so and he six, and then after that, then maybe he get November, then we can do Carnival City. So that's what I'm actually trying to do now. Like, just do those live band type of performances, you know, like, um, I'm a venue, so and yeah. That's That's what be Let's sell the album, okay. closing it up. Let's sell the album. Um, yeah, yeah. Everyone, like at home, um, when I tell and she, Ika Malam, Juba Sing Shilom, Lindo, Ika Malay Alpa, me, Lindo Gushe, and it's out. Make sure that you do go stream and download it. Ikona go now on come at digital platforms like your teasers and uh, your Apple Music. Yeah, yeah. Just keep the life coming. Lindo, the vocalist. Congratulations, very proud of you. I Thank hope you. even Nabazali out there, a lot of them are very proud of you yeah, because of what yeah. you're doing and showing other young guys, you know, as mm -hmm. much as I, you're also not perfect, you're still yeah. young and learning this thing. Yeah. But the fact you're you're already investing in real estate, mm -hmm. you're already, you've already bought your mom a home, you're already yeah. setting your mom up with oh. a business right now so that as was in Malia, King Epikari. And we're already looking at things like crypto and going oh. overseas. For a young man like you, I'm very, very impressed. Congratulations. Ah, no. Thank you. 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 Ladies and gents, Mlindo the vocalist. Brand new album, Lindo Gushel Pumile. It's out on all your favorite DSPs, whether it's Spotify, it's Deezer, it's Apple Music, it's YouTube. Go out there, stream the music, download the music, and go to all the shows. We'll see you on the next video. DJ Spoo Live presents.